Hey, what's up everyone? This is Mike with Headrush, and I'm here today with the Headrush pedal board. In this video, we're gonna give you an overview of all the basics with Headrush, including the foot switches, the screen, the knobs, the ins and outs. Let's dig in. So I wanna start by touching onto the build quality. Uh, we have a full metal chassis, which is extremely tour ready. Uh, at the heart of the pedal board, we have a 7-inch full-color touchscreen here, which you can do all your navigation and get into all the menus on board. Off to the left-hand side, we have our knobs. Now, what's really cool about these, we have individual knobs for your master output, so you can adjust the levels separately. Also, the auxiliary and headphone knobs are here as well. So the cool thing about that means that you don't have to do a lot of menu diving to jump in and get access to those things. It's just right on board, which makes it very convenient. Really cool. We also have a jog wheel here for navigation, uh, which is really great in case you wanted to negate using the touchscreen altogether. I find my, uh, myself using both uh, just to kind of run through parameter values a little bit quicker. Uh, it really kind of expedites things. Um, off to the right hand side of the screen, we have three separate encoders. This is for adjusting all the parameter values uh, for each block selected. So you have quick access to those here. As you can see, we can scroll through and make adjustments as needed. So below the touch screen, we have 12 foot switches with individual OLED displays and LED indicators. You can color code these to your desire. So that way when you're looking down on stage, you can make quick judgment on exactly where you are in the pedal board, even when you're rocking out. So that's super cool. So last but not least, we have our expression pedal here. It's a super robust expression pedal. Uh, really can take a beating. You can assign up to eight different parameter values across two separate modes here uh, using expression pedal. There's even a port on the back to add a separate expression pedal. Now let's dive into that. Let's take a look at the ports on the back. So on the back of the unit, we have our instrument input for guitars, basses, followed by the expression pedal port. We also have two balanced XLR outputs uh, for running your signal to front of the house, to power the speaker. What's really cool is we have a ground lift switch too to uh, reduce and eliminate hum. So next in line we have two TS outs which accommodate quarter inch outputs and next to the line outs we have a amp and line switch. This adjusts between plus six and plus 18. You should always uh, adjust this accordingly depending on whether or not you're using an amplifier or just running this direct out. We also have a quarter inch headphone jack out standard uh, followed by our effects loop. So again you're going to see that switch and that switch is the same kind of adjustment depending on whether or not you're using this for a pedal out or uh, uh, some sort of rack uh, gear or some sort of outboard gear. You want to make sure and adjust that accordingly. We also have our MIDI in and out, and this is great to use Headrush for a slaver master to control outboard MIDI gear. We also have a USB port, and this is great for connecting to a computer to transfer all your different rigs and sounds uh, from the Headrush back and forth, firmware updates, as well as using it for a four in, four out audio interface. We also have two default blocks here on the Headrush screen, in and out. These are for adjusting your gain staging when you're connecting your instrument. All you need to do is double tap. On this screen, this is where we adjust our input settings so we're not clipping. We can also adjust our gate. You can do the same in the output block by double tapping as well. So that's been a look at the Headrush pedal board. Thanks for watching.